Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tino's Math. Today's video, I want to show you what you can do because Wordle is really popular right now. It's the word or letter game where you try to figure out a word in five letters. I have a number version that's called PFZ. So if you want to see that game, stay with me. So I'll have to be honest, Wordle right now is very popular and very addicting. It seems like every day I have to do my Wordle for the day. So if for those of you that are teaching, you guys have kids, this is a fun mathematical or number Wordle version. It's not that hard and there's only three numbers you have to figure out, but sometimes it can be very tricky. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Okay guys, so don't ask me why, but this game is called PFZ and it's a really easy game to understand not necessarily figure out so here's the deal there is going to be a three digit number that somebody is going to try to figure out so definitely have this three digit number in your mind so let's pretend that the number is going to be 257 so whoever is hosting the PFZ or whoever is in charge of the game will just say, okay, everybody, or if it's just one person, I have a three digit number in my head and you're going to try to guess what the numbers are. So for those of you that play Wordle, this is gonna be just like Wordle. So watch this. Let's say the person says 965. So what you will do is you will use the letters of PFZ to let the person know, did they have the right, is the number even in the number? Uh, is the number correct, but it's in the wrong place value? So let me show you this. So for, for nine, it's not even in the number. This is the number we want them to get. So for nine, they would get a Z. Z means the number is not even in the number. Six, same thing that's not in the number. They have the correct five, but it's in the wrong place value. It should be in the tens. So this is where they would get an F. So according to the rules, the person knows, okay, nine's not in the number, six is not in the number, five is the correct number, but it's in the wrong spot. So now they will go, okay, let me try to put five at the front. Uh, let's try 48. So if you can see here, they still have the five in the wrong place value, so they'll get an F. What's good about that is they now know that the five should go in the middle. And now they know four and eight are not even in the number. So you can see, like Wordle, the person is going to get closer and closer and, and hopefully start to figure this out. So now they know that the five is in the middle, and now they will start to go, hmm, okay, there's no nine. No six, no four, no eight. And then they'll start to guess and get closer. So now they can say, mm, let me see, let me put a 152. So now they know that, okay, one is not in the number. P, P is gonna mean that they have the right number and it's in the right place value. And now for this two, they're gonna get that. So now you can see how they're gonna go, oh, okay, I got a two, I, the two is an F. Now they know it's gonna be in the front here. They know their five is in the right spot. All they have to do now is figure out, okay, which number is here? So they would only have, let's see, zero. We've already guessed the one. They already know that this two here is. Now like Wordle, you can have a double number. So that could be a two. Uh, we haven't used three. Uh, what else? We've used four. We've used five. Now, it could be a five. It could be a double a double number there. Um, and it could be a seven, right? Yeah, that's... And it's not nine. So they would have now all of these numbers to keep plugging in here. Now, like Wordle, you would have six chances. Here, I would say... Maybe give them more because you can see how the options could be uh, a whole lot more. But 
hopefully they say seven, and that's when you get to say, hey, you got all three numbers in the correct spot. And that's how you guys play PFZ. So it's a really cool game of guessing and just using your you know, problem solving skills going, okay, I know this is the right number, but in the wrong spot. And so they'll just have to, like Wordle, figure out where else could this number go. So hopefully you guys will have fun with that. Okay guys, so give that a shot. And all you need is a piece of paper. You don't need any type of electronic equipment. So it's a really fun guessing game and it really makes students and, and people just kind of curious and wondering what are the odds of this number? Where do I put this number? So it's a really cool game of guessing and using your odds and figuring out which numbers you've used already, which numbers you know are not in the number. So it's a really cool guessing game and my students really love it. So if you can, give that a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.